Hello everybody, we are back and we are going to look at a Poshmark reseller box. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Charles. And along with my wife Angelique, we run a closet together on Poshmark. It's called The Deegans. Um, so, links for that are in the description. And you might notice the channel has a new name. We're now the Thrifty Deegans? Maybe? Um, I'll have to check what, uh, what we changed it to. Um, anyway, let's look at this box. Now, I actually have already been through this box because I recorded this video once. And um, I got done recording and realized that I didn't have my mic plugged in or I didn't have my mic turned on. There was an issue with the sound. So if I don't seem real surprised about anything in here, it's because I've already seen this. All right, up first we have a Cynthia Rowling, a size four pair of shorts. Um, they have kind of a, looks like a um, little sponge pattern on it, that's uh, sponge pattern. It's like someone had just dotted, that's what the print looks like anyway. And there, a pair of shorts. I believe I, I also, in addition to already going through this, I also already shot this box and um, I know those fit really nice on the mannequin, so. Up next we have a Parker, this is an extra small 100% silk tank top, um, it has a flower pattern on it. Now I remember, I remember this specific tank top because when I went to shoot it I noticed that it had a little flaw right there in the back. Uh, so. I don't know if we're going to, um, there my dryer just went off, I don't know uh, if we're going to just sell that discounted or if we're going to try to fix that or what we're going to do, but um, it's a real shame because it's a, again a 100% silk tank top, it was coming right into spring, that would have been a really good item. Okay, up next we have a button down shirt. Um, the first of first of two button-down shirts that are in here. This is the um, Stephen Allen. Uh, this is a small. I uh, can't really see. This keeps curling up. Uh, anyway, this is actually a men's shirt. Um, the buttons are on the right, which is how you know it's a men's shirt, and. Um, Yeah, but it's just a little, little too small for me. So I don't. Uh, we do sell some men's stuff in our closet, so we will sell that. It's a nice, um, nice shirt for the office. Um, so definitely will, definitely will go up in our closet. Should do, should do just fine. Okay, up next we have a Verona XXL, and this is a woman's shirt. The buttons are on the left. Um, it's also buttoned down um, because there's no buttons to hold the collar down. So it's buttoned up. They're both buttoned up. I got confused there. Um, anyway, I noticed that this shirt, this XXL, is not too much bigger than the last one which was just an S, but that's probably because it's a difference between a men's shirt and a women's shirt. Um, so, oh, uh, I did want to mention this, I did kind of like this pattern here. It's got one, two, three, four different lengths of, uh, it's a gray striped, it's a gray striped shirt, but it's very, it's got four different patterns of gray striped shirts, so, very unique pattern there. Um, 
Should do quite well. Okay, coming up next we have a, what was this one? This is a Mark by Mark Jacob. We actually just sold our other Mark by Mark Jacob that we had in the closet. Um, it was a shirt. This one is a dress, and this dress was actually almost, just almost too small to fit on our mannequin. Um, so it was a little bit, was a little bit of a squeeze to get on there. I wanted to be real careful because I didn't want to rip it. Um, it does have the tiering at the bottom. There's one, two, three, three tiers. Um, and the straps are just little tie straps. Uh, so, nice dress for spring. Okay, and as for the last piece of clothing in here, we have a rag and bone. Now this, uh, this is extra small. Um, I thought this kind of, kind of looked like a little bit, maybe a peacock pattern. Um, I didn't really know how to describe this. But I think I settled on peacock. Um, and I wanted to look at the tag, because I don't think this was, I thought this was also uh, silk, at least partially silk. Um, yeah. This is... Yeah, it's 100% silk for all of this part, but these little, there's little, like, there's little parts that are holding it together, and those are polyester. But other than that, it is, um, it's majority silk. Not quite 100%, maybe 98%. But that actually does it for the clothing. Now, there were two pairs of shoes. Well, two pairs of footwear in there. First, we have a pair of sandals. Now, these are um, Bernie, Bernie Maeve. And they're a pair of, as you see right there, pair of 41 sandals and those were going right into um, going right into spring and summer so those should do good although I don't know how how well flip-flops will do so I don't think we've ever sold a pair of flip-flops so we'll see and last but not least is a pair of Donald J uh, what is that Donald J Pilner um, made in Italy a pair of heels. Um, now I believe I described these as having kind of a tortoise pattern. No, the, yeah, I remember that. The sticker says this return will only be accepted if, this if the sticker remains attached. So I don't think we'll require that if they want to be returned. We'll just use the standard Poshmark return policy. But they are open-toed, as you can see right there. Uh, but they, they're a pretty nice pair of, um, pretty nice pair of shoes. And I've actually, um, I've actually started taking it upon myself to shoot the shoes. So I am doing 100% of the shooting now. And you'll see why in a future video. Oh, but these are a size seven and a half, by the way. That other one was uh, 41, but. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the box. So, what are my thoughts? Um, we've gotten a box from this reseller before. Again, this um, it, at one point it was a mystery to me, um, the first time I recorded. Uh, but it's my wife was able to see all the all the items that were in there before she purchased it. Uh, we were a little disappointed about that tank top, but um, the person apologized. Um, you know, these things happen. Um, it sucks, but it's no, nothing we can do about it. Um, we did like 
all the items, um, we don't think we'll have a problem um, making more than our money back. Um, and we do like that this reseller, I, I believe every box we've got from them have ha has had a rag and bone item in it. And that's just a really good brand that's done pretty good for us. Um, the few rag and bones we've gotten, um, I think we've sold three, maybe four of um, like the five. I think we sold all but one of our rag and bone items and they normally go for um, they normally go for asking price so really excited about that um, anyway if you like this video remember to like share and subscribe all that stuff's below you know how to use YouTube and until next time I'm Charles we'll see you Thanks for sticking around for the video. Um, some more videos up there if you want to keep watching. Till next time, bye.